the tape for this middleweight fight. The Brazilian is 33, the American is 34. Callis Latis will have a four inch reach advantage. For the official introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a freestyle fighter holding a professional record. 18 wins, seven losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Sunbury, Pennsylvania, Tim the Barbarian Bosch. And now introducing his opponent, Fighting out of the red corner, a jiu-jitsu fighter holding a professional record. 24 wins, four losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 186 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Talish Leitish. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, John McCarthy. Big John McCarthy, our referee. Vanessa, Ariani. Brittany, all here in Las Vegas. Talis Slatis, Tim Boach. All right, here we go. You ready? You ready? Still. Here we go. The Barbarian in the red trunks. The Brazilian in the white trunks. Big power possessed by Tim Boach. As well as by Latis. You know, you got to look at Latis. The, the resurgence of his career directly connected to his improvement in his stand-up. And his last fight, he knocked out Francis Carmona. He's an excellent stand-up fighter. And there you see a beautiful left hand, or excuse me, a beautiful right leg kick that he landed there. Ooh, oh, man, trying to Tim do, Bosch over yeah, the top absolutely. of the right hand. Trying to do damage in the clinch there, Joe. Well, Bosch has an excellent chin and an ability to endure pain. And he can stand in the pocket and land big shots. And right when you think he's out, he comes back and wins fights. Oh, poke. Stuck? Yeah. Time. Stay right there. Come here. That's all right. That's all right. You stuck your finger out. You see me clearly? I think he's all right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Take your time. Let's do it. Sure. Okay. Okay. Fight. The Yushin Okami comeback was oh, yeah. a huge win for Tim Bosch. And it just showed, you know, what a, what a gritty fighter he is. 54 seconds into that third after he was dominated for 10 minutes. Well, he is going after Talish. Swing and a miss. And Talish, oh, Talish He's connected. pushing forward. Talish connected with a good right hand in that exchange, Mike. And Joe, you talked about how much more confident Latis is in his striking. His last two wins by knockout. Oh, Tim connected again with the right hand. The Brazilians waiting for Anderson Silva later, but seeing Rafael Natal, John Lineker. A lot of Brazilian victories already. Tiago Alves right here live on pay-per-view. Nice lead left. Bosch has been involved in so many of these crazy brawls, Mike. He just feels very comfortable in these sort of exchanges like we're experiencing right now. Watch your fingers, Talos. There you go. Fingers up. There's a nice inside leg kick by Talos. Second flight for Tim Boach after all those time spent with Matt Hume that he's been in Maine with Marcus Davis. Oh, a big uppercut there. And big uppercut connects. snapped his head back. And he's nodding in, in acknowledgement of it. Check Checked. that one. And that's not saying anything about Matt Hume. It's saying that Tim Boach wanted to stay by his home. Yeah. His family and be able to turn a victory here tonight at UFC 183. Both men with nine UFC wins. Late. Oh, in oh, the uppercut. Just past the midway point of round one. Leg kick got through by Bosch. You're gonna, oh, oh, beautiful good combination counter. by Talos. That left hook landed clean. If you're gonna be a longtime member of Team Novo Unyao, your striking's gonna get better. No doubt about it. One of the very best teams in the world, and possibly the best in Brazil. Of course, led by our longtime featherweight champion, only featherweight champion in UFC history, Jose Aldo. 
Junior Dos Santos is there now. Yeah. Of course, Henan Varao. Just a, a, a plethora of talent. And then going to fight T.J. Dillashaw again. Conor McGregor gets the shot at Jose Aldo. Bosch is just so good at staying in the pocket, Mike. He's so comfortable in those exchanges that once, once the fists start flying, he generally is the last one to land, and Polish has been getting out of those. They clinch. Short punches from Tim Boach right in front of our broadcast position. Just under a minute. Oh, Talish with the takedown attempt, but Bosch with excellent wrestling pedigree, stuffs it. Wrestled at Lock Haven University, which is a D1 wrestling powerhouse. They're D2 and D3 in the other sports, but their wrestling program, outstanding. Boach from the small town of Lincolnville, Maine. There's a right hand over the top by Tosh, but then look, and Boach tags him. Hard. Boach Bosch. hurt him. All over Latis. He's got time. He's on top, inside control, Mike. 20 seconds. Trying to overwhelm the Brazilian here. Vitalis is trying to get out of this. Pulls half guard. And this is the end of the round here. His ability to control Tim. Tim will just right hang here out. Right here is huge, Joe. Yeah, Tim will just hang out on top here now. But a good finish to the round by Boch. It was a very good round for Boch. Landed some really good shots. Talish looked very confident in the beginning, but the more Tim landed those big shots in the exchanges, I think that Tim won that round with those kind of punches. And there's a big one right there. Also, you got to think about the uppercut that he landed earlier. He landed one really big uppercut that snapped back the head of Latis. Is it hard to take him down there? Andre Pettineros. I only tried once. I want you to recuperate now and then go for a brawl. If you got a clinch, just be careful because he's throwing the uppercut in the clinch. Put him up against the cage, put the hook. The Irish hand grenade, Marcus Davis. Don't change anything. That's great advice right there. Don't change anything. Absolutely. <laughs> keep going, keep going. Marcus, such an outstanding boxer. And then a ton of mixed martial arts battles. Talish Latis, Tim Boach. You ready? Round two. A good finish to the round by Boach, and as Joe said, very solid throughout the entire five minutes. Leg kick early. There was a nice leg kick by yeah. Talish. He stepped needs, into that one. Yeah, he needs more of those, and that one checked by Tim Boach. It's the clinches and the exchanges with punches where Boach is coming out on top. Boach clearly doing more damage in that round. Had Talish hurt towards the end of it, and as we said, snapped his head back with an uppercut up. earlier. Tim Boach once called. Oh, there, got caught. Good left hook by Talish. And the counter. Just missed with that big right hand. Boach is so good at ducking down and rolling that shoulder and throwing that overhand right. There it is, right there. Right, right what we're talking about. Stings Latis again. Now let's see if Talish is able to get Bosch to the ground. Andre Paneras asked him, can you take him down? He said, I only tried once. But Talish, of course, as we said, is a world-class Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. There's the Irish hand grenade. Marcus Davis will try to listen in. Oh, nice right hand. Nice right hand by Bosch. And the clinch. Again, he's the way he ducks his hand, he ducks his head down, rolls his shoulder, and throws that right hand over the top. Slamming a lot. Yes, it is. This has become the type of brawl that Tim Bosch thrives on. There's a right hand in the exchange by Talish. Tim said the origin of his nickname was that he was a huge Arnold Schwarzenegger fan, of course, Conan the Barbarian. So Tim the Barbarian Boach. Checked again, yeah. that one hurt. He checked that one right on the knee, and that's the worst place to hit your shin. A la Anderson Silva versus Chris Weidman. There's a good, good combination by Tom. Oh, good left, left hand by Boach. And he's got him on the run oh, again. He's in trouble. 
Boach. But look, Talish has his hands together. Elbows by Tim Boach. And he gets him down. Very nicely done by Talish. Controls the legs very well. Talish moving to the mount. Almost in full mount. This kid needs to scoot. He's in mount now, Mike. Tim's trying to push down on his legs, but Talish is basically mounting him. He's going to slide up higher. And he's looking to get an arm triangle, Mike. See the right arm of Tim Bosch? He's capturing that, trapping it. That's it's his a bad favorite position. submission, Joe. And it's an excellent position right yep. now to land it. He's got it. He's in half guard. Now he's in side control. He's got the arm. Can this he do is it? his thing. Looking to lock it up. Tim Bosch is in danger right now. John he's McCarthy in big, on top of big the trouble. Talish is world class. You get stuck in this spot right now. This is a different kind of guy. On oh, he got out of it. Wow. Beautiful Once job. Again, Tim Boach survives the deep waters. Heart and defense. Both of those in equal amounts. But look at this. That's some jujitsu right there. Look at that beautiful pass. Back to mount again for Tim Bo or excuse me, for Talos Latis. And again, arm triangle once more. Thirteen. Turning the corner, Mike. This yeah. one's even deeper. Can this one's even now? deeper. He's fully flattened out now. He's, He's going to tap. tap. He's going to tap. He's out. He's out. He's out. It is all over. Eighth career finish by arm triangle for Talish Latis. That man might have the best arm triangle in the business. He really might. I mean, that is just locked down solid and tight. He does everything perfect. The way he flattened it out, the way he turned the corner counterclockwise. Talish Latis with that finish, now tied for fourth most finishes in middleweight history with six. And an impressive arm triangle, his go to submission. And he's really swollen up, Mike. Look at the face of Talish Latis. The left side of his face is really swollen up from some of those exchanges. Huge, huge victory for Talish. Tim Boach was able to land a big bunch of strikes early in the fight. But once it went to the ground, the black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu went to his go-to move and wins the fight. His eighth straight victory, fifth straight win in the UFC. Tim was able to get out of it the first time and not the second. He was out. And John McCarthy saw it and stopped the fight. Well done, Talish Latis, with the official decision, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee John McCarthy has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 45 seconds of the second round, declaring the winner by submission due to an arm triangle choke, Talish Latis! Yeah.